hello guys in this video um, I want to show you how to create a horizontal cable tray T fittings um, reduce 24 tray with 24 and yeah, this is a B line we I want to make sure that this is a polyline um, this is the this is a six inch run so I'll turn it into a polyline and uh, okay there you go and I will create um, a radius of 24 oh I'll create the line first 24 so I'll mirror this uh, six inch ram and we'll extrude it later now I will create a 24 inch radius and um, yeah, fill it 24 and uh, I will put an extension of 3 inch uh, don't forget that 3 inch extension that is very important if you miss that on all your fittings you are done okay and I'll trim it the double trim doesn't work here I don't know why so uh, okay I'll delete the reference line and move this to a point there. Oh, I make a mirror first for another one. Put to the reference line and put the other one on the other reference line. Uh, again, um, this will be extrude to path. Oh, I make a copy first so I don't have to worry about the uh, across run now extrude the path there you go and then another extrude the path now um, basically this is a font view which I just use an UCS so I can get the top view can go horizontal and vertical line. Now I'll be rotating this or moving this other round. Uh, yeah, I, I rotate the view. Now we are looking on the left, and um, we need. 24 inch line again just for our tray width and uh, we'll move this to the point to the end point then we want to make sure that that is 78 inches in the B it's supposed to be 78 inches Always create lots of this. I create a block for this. Easy for us to do the MPOs. I will put a reference line, and uh, so we are sure that it is on the exact alignment. Then I'll extrude. The, the run in this path I'll just pick on the end point okay now um, I delete the reference line and then I will create this is the side rail I will create the run why am I all 
always saying the RAM. This is the side rail. Okay. Now the RAM, um, I usually say 2 inches in width and 1 inch in See, you have, I have to change the UCS first because I can't make a vertical line. So UCS to view. Yeah, look at that. I can create a vertical line. I have to change the UCS into view so I get now the top view. Now I can get the vertical and the horizontal. Um, two inch and then an inch height. Two inch again and close polyline. Um, extrude to 24 and then I'll move this one where I can see this where is this oh not in here I have to move it again okay uh -huh. there we go Okay. And rotate. Should make a copy on that. Okay. Move to the point. Mid to end point. And I'll move maybe three inches. No, no, that's not the 3 inches uh, distance. Okay, maybe another 3. Then I'll mirror it in the middle so it's the same distance on the other edge. Now I'll check the distance of this. This is 50. 64 plus 2 66 and that's divided by 6 it's supposed to be 11 interval um, okay I'll copy 11 22 33 44 55 okay uh, I hope this is uh, equally divided and uh, I cap one and rotate and move to the end from mid to end. And then move six inch again. Okay, another 11. And then another 11 again. Okay. Um, I'll just make a rough uh, estimate. I have to move this one to the end. End round. No. Not that end. The other end. Not that end. I told you not that end. Yeah, that end. So you have to move again. Five. Five inch. Not six. Move one back. Okay. Then move that. The end. There you go. And then. Let's just see. I'll just put an estimate on moving this one to the end. Just to make to touch the solid to solid so I can I can join this uh, unite the, the solid object I'm not gonna perfect this uh, not going to do the perfect perfect line or perfect crown because in the in the vendor drawing, it's supposed to be curved based on the the radius readings. 
I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna waste time if I do that. So yeah, I will uh, do the union command. Right now it is on a single entity. I will make a union command just. See how it unites. There you go. Then a uh, union only. Okay. Then I need to make an insertion point or a base point to put the line into zero zero coordinates. Um, should be there, but. I think it's better to put it on the base, mid of the base, not not that elevated. I'm doing it wrong, Jay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm doing it wrong. Okay, I'll repeat it again. Need to put it on the base. There you go. Because when the administrator or the auto plant or CADWORKS administrator put this in the library, they need an insertion point, which it should be on the center. Next time, I'll, I'll create a horizontal elbow um, and show you the insertion point too. So right now, enjoy watching and um, please like and subscribe on my videos. Please make comment. Um, any requests, put it on the comment. Email me. Alright, thank you very much guys and um, see you again in my next video. Thanks, bye.